Oh, hi, I'm the heretic. So Kendrick Lamar, I don't listen to him or his music. But what happened yesterday that would be May 22, 2018 at a concert in Alabama really caught my attention. He brought a fan of his on stage to sing his music. Now, this is really cool. I mean, it takes some guts to put your concert in the hands of a rank amateur. More importantly, it suggests that you, yes, you, could one day be up on that stage. It's a dream come true. But when the fan has the wrong skin color and the lyrics for the song you chose have the wrong two-syllable word... Yeah. So here she is on stage, singing the lyrics to the song Mad City that contains the N-word 15 times. The song was written by Kendrick Lamar. You mean to tell me he didn't know the white girl might sing a song that contains the N-word? Give me a break, I wasn't born yesterday. Which means he's either a careless buffoon or this was a setup. Lamar told her she was supposed to censor the N-word, but can she really be blamed for being too caught up in the moment? Can she be blamed for singing the lyrics to the song? The song Lamar himself wrote? Yeah, you set her up to fail. Good job. This was a gross overreaction on Lamar's part, and especially his fans, for doing something they all do, not only in that concert, but in the privacy of their cars or at home. You mean to tell me none of the concert goers sing along to the lyrics in the concert or in their own cars? Come on, you're all a bunch of hypocrites. Casting your own guilt for speaking the forbidden word on someone who fundamentally did nothing wrong. It's a two-syllable word that only has as much meaning and significance as the listener believes it does. I'd say in this video, if I didn't know, I'd be flagged for it. The way I see it, you can't have free speech and forbidden words. You can't justify certain spoken syllables being banned while allowing other syllables. At least if you want to be consistent. Either all speech is okay, or none of it is. The girl did nothing wrong. The only aggressors here are Kendrick Lamar, who shamed a fan in front of thousands. What does this say to the other fans, the ones who paid hundreds of dollars to attend this concert? If being able to go on stage is a dream come true, then this is a nightmare. Our giant TVs will be sure to show everyone your face, so you better tow the progressive line and say only the words that Kendrick Lamar wants you to say, or a crowd of 10,000 hip-hop fans will boo you off stage. And no, they will not accept apologies. Now, I don't know her name, and she was only identified as Delaney, but what's she going through right now, having gone through that humiliation by someone she probably looked up to? What the hell, Kendrick? If this is how you treat your fans, how do you treat your opponents? Listen, this all looks very weird to me. It looks like a setup. Now, to be fair, I don't think this actually was a setup. But if I were Kendrick Lamar and I wanted to virtue signal how much I hated the big bag N-word, what I would do is find a popular song that has the N-word in it a lot. Then I would get some white girl to come on stage and sing the song and make a spectacle about calling her out on singing the lyrics of the song. I'd then ask the audience if she could stay on stage while pretending to be friendly by allowing her to stay and try again despite the audience's clear disfavor. If I were Kendrick Lamar and I wanted to virtue signal, I would do exactly what happened. Screw that. Now, I don't care about Kendrick Lamar, and hip-hop is not my preferred genre. Like, at all. If you like it, great. But after seeing this, if I were a Kendrick Lamar fan, I could not justify giving this artist any more of my money or my attention. Kendrick Lamar did a horrible thing to Delaney and owes her an apology right now. Questions? Comments? Critique? Is Lamar justified in doing this in his own concert? Are you curious about why I made this video instead of a completely different video I decided to stop making? Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.